yesterday and it is a spectacular day today may not look like it but that is about 10 plus hours yesterday on the tractor excavating in the hole got a lot of work done it was supposed to rain and the rain actually held off I mean, it drizzled a little bit but didn't really affect the ability to get in and keep working and with a day like with weather like this today we should be able to get a lot more done so I know this isn't the most exciting <laughs> Uh, stuff for the video but uh, it's what we're working on it's what we've got to do hopefully uh, hopefully we can get this hole completed today and then start installing the pipes for the earth battery system but gonna get on the tractor and see how much we can get done I know my way is a rough and steep to see my father I'm going left, no more to roam, I'm just going over Jordan. Really close, gotta go take a break. So, got probably about nine feet left to cut on, nine feet left on that side to cut and maybe about four or five feet on this back left side to cut. And then it's just a matter of leveling things out and we start putting in some pipe. Sun sets completely. I'm gonna get real dark down in here. Thought we'd walk down into the big dig, wrap this video up. But you can see we are almost completely done. Just got this corner right here. You can see just a, from that pole over right there. But have got this nearly completely dug out just have a little bit of grading work still to do and clean out over in this corner still got a little bit over here but that is it well that's going to do it for this week it's a, a short video and mostly digging not the most exciting thing in the world but in terms of capturing an important part of this project well it was what we were up to this week and this weekend uh, hopefully by next week we will have some footage of putting in the first 
course of pipes and insulation, the rigid foam insulation on the sidewalls. Still debating that because that's about $400 worth of insulation that it's, uh, it's just hard to put that kind of money into the ground. I get the idea of why it should work and the idea is you're basically making a thermos in the ground and really trying to contain either heat or cool in a confined area underneath the greenhouse but oh that's hard so we'll see we'll see if we do that so the insulation and first course of pipes and then we'll start back filling hopefully that'll go much faster than digging it should uh, and then we'll put in the second course at two feet fill it up and from there it's the exciting part of starting to actually build the greenhouse going up so I hope everybody had a great week and that you have an excellent week ahead. Until the next video here at St. Isidore's Farm, take care and God bless.